Maybe more than any other city, Seattle, Washington seems to represent what America is becoming. Amazon, Microsoft, Starbucks are all based in the city or its suburbs. Jeff Bezos, the richest man in the world, lives there. But along with unfathomable wealth, there is also desperate poverty and widespread degradation. Seattle's homeless population is surging. The city is suffocating under garbage produced by hundreds of homeless camps. Rather than take action, the city council has enabled the problem and even recently suggested the garbage is really left by middle class residents who are trying to frame the homeless. A local news broadcast recently grabbed national headlines by warning that Seattle is dying. The city becomes unlivable for regular families. For day three of our Homeless in America series, our producer Charlie Cougar visited Seattle to get an up-close look at what is happening there. Seattle's homelessness crisis is deeply connected to the city's drug crisis. That's what we learned when we visited this sprawling encampment off of Interstate 5. It's really sad. Washington native Eric Nelson is homeless. He lives in a nearby shelter where he's undergoing methadone treatment. He came to this encampment to visit friends. Do you think drugs are one of the primary drivers of homelessness? I think uh, mental health is. Mental health is the foundation of you know, a lot of you know, addiction and, and other things. Mental health and addiction are clearly problems. When we arrived on a Wednesday afternoon, the residents were cleaning up their camp it was littered with syringes. How many people would you say, like as a percentage of people living out here are, are doing drugs? Um, I would say a good 60%. You know, that's maybe a little short, but benefit of the doubt. You How know? easy is it to get heroin? Really, it's really easy. Even outside the I-5 camp, there was evidence of a drug epidemic throughout Seattle. Near a shelter downtown, we found this poster warning drug users about the dangers of fentanyl. Seattle is a kind of mecca for drug addicts. Washington State legalized marijuana, and Seattle's police force has a program that refers some low-level drug criminals to social services instead of jail. Like San Francisco, Seattle's city government has essentially decriminalized quality-of-life crimes. Misdemeanor citations have plummeted since 2009. Hey, guys, go The consequence? Well, see it for yourself. <laughs> Here's a video of a man passed out in a popular park. This picture shows urine on a public staircase near City Hall. This picture shows human waste a few steps above that. <laughs> Homelessness became more visible as Seattle's leaders became more lenient on petty crime. Because of their liberal attitudes and the mild climate, the city is a magnet for vagrants. Nelson thinks most of the people at the I-5 camp didn't grow up in the area. Probably about more than half. Probably not from Seattle. Homelessness is complicated. Drugs aren't the only cause. Take a look at this picture of people living in broken down RVs. In the background, the world headquarters of Starbucks. Like most of the West Coast, Seattle's economic boom has not been distributed evenly. Not close. When wages at the low end of the economic spectrum fail to keep up with the rising cost of living, you wind up with a place where people living in their cars are flanked by billionaires like Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates. So what causes homelessness? Many things. Drug addiction, economic hardship, illness. But one thing that everyone living on the street seems to have in common, broken families. In the case of Eric Nelson, he hasn't seen his family since he was 16 years old. We just kind of split. Um, we didn't really have too much in common, so I uh, just parted ways when I was 16. And then uh, I ran out of money. I ran out of everything, and so I was homeless. It isn't just big cities suffering from a homelessness ec epidemic. Tomorrow night, as our series continues, we'll take a look at homelessness in the college town of Eugene, Oregon. Amazing what's happening there.